Ford has shifted its strategy to take on smaller competitors like Rivian as they announced plans to develop a three-row crossover electric SUV. This move directly challenges Rivian's R1S aiming to compete head-on. Ford recognizes the potential for success in a segment where Tesla doesn't currently compete. The question arises, will Ford be able to compete this time? Join us as we explore Ford's stunning new electric SUV and their strategy to tackle Rivian. Ford started well in the electric vehicle business but has faced difficulties recently. Despite investing a lot in their Model E electric car division, Ford hasn't been very successful with EVs. Except for the Ford F-150 Lightning, which did well because of Ford's strong reputation for pickup trucks. Their EVs haven't gained much popularity. The Mustang Mach-E is a good example. It was meant to compete with luxury electric four-door cars like Tesla Model Y, but it didn't attract consumers effectively. Although it was popular at first, its sales went down over time. In the first three months of 2023, only 12,000 units were sold, which was disappointing. Ford also revealed losses of $700 million for its Model E electric division in the first quarter of this year. The production and sales numbers have been going down as well. As Ford deals with the challenge of transitioning to electric vehicles, it decided to disclose the hidden EV profitability figures to show the actual situation. Unfortunately, the numbers don't look good. In fact, Ford anticipates losing a whopping $3 billion in 2023 alone. This news raises concerns about whether Ford can succeed with electric vehicles in this fast-changing market. The sales slump clearly shows that Ford needs to reassess its approach. Recognizing the need for change, Ford understands that they must revamp their current EV strategy. The poor response to their electric vehicles, including the Mustang Mach-E, has made them rethink their offerings and try to improve their EV lineup. Ford knows that to thrive in the competitive EV market, they need to make electric vehicles that customers really want. As part of their new approach, Ford has decided to reduce the price of the Mustang Mach-E by $3,700. They realize it's difficult to compete with luxury electric vehicles, so they want to be more competitive and attract more customers. One reason Ford can lower the price of the Mach-E is that the cost of lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are essential for electric vehicles, has decreased. This cost reduction allows Ford to pass on the savings to customers. Ford also plans to reduce the production cost of each Mach-E by $5,000 by the end of 2023. They'll achieve this by making their production processes more efficient, by finding ways to save money and improve manufacturing techniques. Ford expects to make the production of Mach-E more cost-effective. To fix their current situation, Ford is targeting a market segment with less competition. In their first quarter earnings report, Ford's CEO Jim Farley mentioned that they had identified the possibility of too many similar electric SUVs in the market a while ago. This segment refers to five-seat electric SUVs, which are currently dominated by Tesla's popular Model Y. The Ford CEO has issued challenges like this previously also. But the real question is, can they fulfill their promise? Recognizing the potential saturation of the market for compact and mid-size electric SUVs, Ford aims to take a different approach. They plan to focus on the three-row utility space, explicitly targeting the market for seven-seat SUVs. Ford believes that by understanding customer preferences in this segment, they can create a highly differentiated and successful offering. While developing a seven-seat electric SUV is an expensive undertaking, Ford expects it to become profitable eventually. Ford CEO Jim Farley projects that their electric vehicles will achieve an 8% profit margin by 2026, thanks in part to the implementation of their second-generation platform. The company has undergone a comprehensive platform overhaul, resulting in a transformation of the engineering process. This shift will undoubtedly be reflected in the upcoming electric SUV, which will feature reduced labor requirements and enhanced simplicity. Ford aims to streamline production, increase manufacturing efficiency, and lower costs through advancements in engineering and technology. They anticipate a significantly lower labor content compared to previous models. Although there will be upfront costs and potential initial losses, Ford is confident that their strategic investment in platform redesign and engineering processes will yield long-term benefits. 
and improved profitability for their EVs. To attract customers to their upcoming seven-seat electric SUV, Ford plans to leverage their loyalty of their existing SUV customer base. They believe that customers who have trusted and preferred Ford's SUV lineup will be enticed to transition to electric vehicles within this new niche. Ford draws inspiration from the success of the Ford F-150 Lightning, which attracted customers who had never owned a pickup truck before, indicating that electric vehicles have the potential to appeal to a broader customer base. Ford's strategy is based on the belief that customers outside the luxury sedan segment will be drawn to electric vehicles due to their functionality, novelty, wow factor, and association with established brands like Ford. They take inspiration from the positive response received by electric pickups, including Rivian's offerings and their own F-150 Lightning. These vehicles have demonstrated that there is market potential for electric vehicles beyond luxury sports sedans. Ford is optimistic that they can tap into the sales potential of a three-row crossover EV by highlighting its unique benefits and features. They aim to attract customers who seek practicality, versatility, and innovation in their electric vehicles. The development of a three-row full-size crossover EV by Ford can potentially be a game-changer for both the company and the electric vehicle market. By venturing into unexplored territory with this type of electric-powered vehicle, Ford aims to push boundaries and expand the possibilities of the EV market. Currently, Ford's Model E division, focused on electric vehicles, operates at a loss and relies on profits from their combustion engine division. To transform the Model E division into a profitable venture, Ford has set a target to achieve profitability by 2026. They are actively exploring ways to streamline manufacturing processes and reduce production costs to make EV production more cost-effective. Ford is committed to improving the financial performance of the Model E division and thriving in the evolving automotive landscape. 